to remove these and try to put these on. Let's see how it goes. Okay, remove these holes drilled. The first one is the existing hole made it bigger. The middle one was the one eighth hole from the factory hangers, and this one is the new hole. Also, drill two holes here because this was the uh, original bolt hole back here, but I don't want them back there. I want them right here. So, same on this side. This side came out a little bit better. And uh, that's what you're going to need right there. Step up a bit, triangle a bit. Those things could do good for this thick metal. Finally. Peel this off. The chrome underneath, but All right, so what we got going on here? This is the bug shield. It goes on the truck like this, and the brackets you put the Phillips head screw on the outside. And then you put the bracket, small washer, and nut for both. And leave it a little loose until you tighten it up on the truck. So I had somebody help me. I was trying to do it by myself, but end up scratching the hood a little bit. But it's okay. My truck is not the greatest anyways. It's got a couple little spots on it, but... Then I had a mark with holding this on the hood, marked holes, four of them, and drilled for the brackets. Now the brackets, once it uh, goes in there, it's going to be the bolt head, the hex one, is going to go uh, in first and then you're gonna put small washer and it's gonna go it's gonna go through here like so and then it's gonna go through the hole of the hood and then this goes on the back of the hood and then the nut so hopefully these bolts are long enough I didn't check not then I'll have to get some uh, longer bolts and they're not going to be long enough so I need to find some longer bolts unless uh, Unless I want to take off this shell, which I'm definitely not doing that. So, we'll find some longer bolts. This box, you get screws. So I found these, but these one wasn't long enough. These were too long. So I got these. Perfect. I got it on. So what I end up doing is uh, keeping the bracket on, getting somebody to help me so I can mark the holes. Then I took the bracket off from the shield and just did this first, did the bracket first. But as you've seen in the previous one, the screws weren't long enough, so I got bigger screws. So they're not the best looking screws, but you won't be able to see them anyways. So, 
that's uh, one, another one, and two on that side. And then also, these ones weren't long enough, so I had to use what I had on the corner ones. And the corner one, they give you like a rubber piece to put in between there, but I didn't use it. The only thing is this one is pretty close on this side. And this one I have a little bit more gap, barely, but I could unloosen these later and scoot it over a little bit. But let's see what it looks like when we close the hood. still have room here to put your hand. Let me wipe it off and close this and then get back to you. This is what it looks like. Finished product. took off the uh, plastic covers on the back too. So waiting on my new mud flaps because the other bar I had was straight and angled. So you see here how this is angled. So I just cut it off even to be able to mount three of them for time being. 